Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I thought I'd just show you some of my Christmas cards that I've been doing um, and I've got a couple to finish off as well. So yay! Uh, it's that time of year again. We've uh, started Christmas Advent so I thought I'd better get my Christmas cards finished. So I'll start on uh, these first. I'll do these first I think. Just clear the decks a little bit. Move those out of the way. Okay, so these are the ones, if you remember, that came um, in a pack, I think it was eight, and they're plain Jane cards, and you get a little, uh, well, it's not a sticker, it's a piece of like a cardboard decoration, and you get some foam pads to stick it on the front. This one I've not finished yet because mm, it's the balloons, it's the balloons. I think I might have to use him on something else. Uh, you can tell, I mean, you don't have to, but it shows you inside which uh, figure to use, which decoration to use. It showed you inside the card. I have got an unboxing on these. If you don't want to see it, I'll put a link down below. Um, and what I didn't like as well was the white on the outsides. Now, you could either colour that in or cut it out. And on the snowman and the Santa with Rudolph, I've actually cut round it and taken off those nasty white edges. I'm just not a fan of the white edges. Uh, as you know, I got into diamond painting through my card making. Um, so, yeah, and I am really happy with these. They're nice cards. They're a good quality. They haven't got any, uh, let me show you, bambi legs. So they're not going to waft over and fall over, you know, where they like do that folding bit. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the really thin ones that you get. Um, I mean, you could put an insert in, but it would be a shame, really. I'll probably stamp. I've got some Christmas stamps. So I'll probably stamp a little verse on here, Merry Christmas or whatever. Um, and then I can just hand write whatever. Not that anybody can read my writing, but hey-ho. Uh, and then we've got the little Santa there as well with the reindeer. So I thought he was quite sweet. And I've put him flat, if you can see. Yeah, I've just cut round him and just stuck him flat. Um, with some craft glue onto there. Um, I did think about sealing them and then I've decided I'm not going to because they were very, very sticky. Um, they've stuck on really well. It took me a while to realise that this is like a Peppa Pig style reindeer because I thought, why has it got two eyes on the front and what's this black dot here? And then, yeah, it, it is the two eyes on the front. <laughs> So, you know, like I don't know if you watch Peppa Pig, if you have Peppa Pig in your country, but yeah, she sort of like looks at you sideways on, but she's got two eyes on the front of her head. So, sort of, well, you know what I mean. You can see it from here anyway. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I love that one. That's really good. Um, and the envelopes are nice as well. I've only done the three um, because the others are like birthday cards and Valentine's and things like that. So I'll do those at another time. I just wanted to get the Christmas cards done so I can get them sent out. And then Snowman, I mean, how happy is he? He, here? <laughs> he, uh, the drills are really nice quality as well. They're stuck really well. We've got the shading on the Santa. We've even got shading on his scarf, which I think is lovely. And I have put him on the 3D foam pads. But what I've done is just cut up the foam pads and just put tiny little squares behind his hands. I've not put any behind his uh, twig arms because he, he doesn't need it. As long as he's stuck down the middle and his hands are stuck so they're not going to be waving around and get caught, then that's fine. And again, that's uh, a nice inside. So yeah, um, really pleased with those cards. As I say, a lot of the um, cards from other countries tend to have like a, a letter style card written that way so you open up your card and instead of reading it here you have to then turn it to read it down that way um but no i'm i'm quite happy with those so that's two of those as i say this one it's just the balloons i suppose it could be a christmas birthday or something but uh, if there were christmasy colors if they were like gold green and red or something or even sort of blue and white but because you've got the pink and the gold and the turquoise and everything, it just doesn't shout Christmas to me, that one, other than <laughs> it's got Christmas and that there. I mean, I could try covering it over and then you get into all sorts of, well, by the time you've covered it over and done things, you might as well have just put it on another card. So we'll see anyway. I'll let you know if I do anything with that one. So that's those three. 
and then these are absolutely fantastic if you remember these were the more expensive cards i got and they are the smaller ones um i think these were the six by four inch where they uh they're more of a five by seven inch and these are like a six by four inch and these are the pop out ones so yeah i mean they're just stunning but the gems on these and the colouring, sorry, I've got the flash on, so there's a little bit of glare. But I mean, look at that Christmas tree with all those different colours and the baubles. And there was loads left over. I have never had so many gems left over from one card. And I mean, that one, apart from the white, um, is all special. And it, it's just, you know, we, we even got a shading look in between with them um, blues there in between with the white just to give it that little bit more depth but yeah uh, these are just fantastic and then this one look with all the little stars and even the dots on santa's present look and you know the faces are lovely as well they're real jolly real happy faces and then that was that one which i'm just really in love with these i wish they were bigger i do like a bigger card um <laughs> bigger is better well anyway so yeah and then this one look with the love hearts and then all the stars in the sky and the tree i mean they're just wonderful i'm just so in love with these cards and that was another santa there as well and the little bunnies we do like the bunnies but uh, yeah look at those I'm, I'm impressed i will definitely purchase more of these um if not for next Christmas, if she does any other different cards, playing Jane. I mean, I'm saying she. And then this was the one look with the little snowflakes, the sparkles and the tree again, the colours. And I've put some ABs on that tree. I'm not sure it came with ABs. I think I added those. Um, I will double check, you know. But the colours and the sparkle, they're just wonderful. Some of the nicest cards I've done. Very, very impressed. And then that was my favourite one that was the inside with the Santa on that side, the snowman on the other and all the little elves holding hands around the tree. Yeah, I just thought they were really something special. So special people will be getting those. I ought not to say that really, should I? Because if somebody gets one and doesn't get one now, they'll think, well, she doesn't think I'm special. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> So that's some Christmas cards that were like pre-done kits. Then I've been having a play. This was uh, one of the Craft Buddy stickers that I got, which was the Little Pony. That again, I've uh, 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 diamond painted. Brain, start working, please. And um, what I've done, I've got some snowdrop, uh, snowdrop, snowflake acetate. I think you can see that. Sorry about the glare. And then I've put a card underneath. It's like a white, but I don't think the camera will pick it up. No, it's like um, it's like glitter card, but it's a very just a spattering of glitter rather than it being full glitter card. It's as though somebody just picks them up and gone like that. You know, like chefs do with salt and pepper and things. Um, so it's just got a hint of sparkle, but a shiny card underneath. So you just get more depth on the snowflakes there and as you can see the actual sticker around the edges other than where the uh, the legs are and the snow at the bottom all of these edges are all clear so you do, do just get a really good picture of the pony they did actually used to do um, a card with this pony and i'm not sure if they still do it but uh, I just thought the sticker was really nice and it's a way, you know, kids can make their own. I mean, it doesn't have to stay on the card. And I dare say, because this is acetate, after Christmas, the, you can probably get this off here. Um, I've just added a little bit of tartan down the bottom just to make it ping a little bit. And then I just need to add a little Merry Christmas or something in the corner up there. And I've put it slightly to that side because I may or may not put a ribbon on it. I quite, I'm very much for putting ribbons on things. Um, I'm that kind of girl. <laughs> and then I've just put a little insert on the inside, um, just some printed ones. I think I got these from Craft Shoe Print a long time ago. One of my friends was making them. So yeah, 
so that's uh, a card I've made as I say I just need to put the happy Christmas on it and then that will be winging its way to somebody and then I've just been having a bit of a play which I thought I would show you um, last year oops just pop them down they're all going to fall off aren't they yes they are stay stay last year um, I don't know if you remember uh, I did an unboxing gosh a long time ago um, in fact, I think this was my first proper diamond painting Christmas, shall we say. I got these and they're supposed to be, you're supposed to sew them together. Um, you've got like a cut line here, down here, and then a dotty line here. Um, and you're supposed to cut around the cut line and then sew. And I looked at them and I looked at them and I thought, is it really worth <laughs> cutting this out? and then sewing it together and what will it look like when I do. Uh, my eyesight, as you know, is not brilliant. I had two eye operations last year. It is this time last year, I just had my second one, so I was walking around like a pirate. Ah. Um, so yeah, I've decided I'm gonna turn them into cards. I mean, you could just use it as a Christmas decoration. I've cut this out, they cut out really well. Um, you know, people say about canvas freeing, but I've not had canvas freeing. So I don't know, maybe I've had different types of canvas, but this is cut out really well. And actually I did cut this out last Christmas <laughs> and I was going to put it on um, foam board and put it on the uh, wall and I never got around to it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to make it into a Christmas card this year. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find my white snow ball sort of half spheres that I've got left over from other kits. And I think I'll probably put them on these dots as well just to uh, bling it up a little bit but I like his red nose and I do like the fact that the Merry Christmas has got the larger red gems in it as well so let me just uh, see I'll show you what I've been playing with um so I've just got an A4 card and I folded it long ways like DL ways I've got a piece of um it's foiled acetate and it's got holly berries all over it there and then I've just put a piece of plain shiny white card in the back what I'll probably do is just put a verse down this side um, or you could put white paper in but I quite like the uh, white shiny in the background similar to the little pony I'm into shiny magpie <laughs> and then I'm just going to put that on there and then I thought I will put some of my blingy ribbon if you remember seeing my blingy ribbons that I unboxed down there just to make it pop that little bit can we see that get that into shot as it helps okay get that blingy ribbon there and then I've got these little gems that are like green and I thought I'll just put some in the corners and either do two or three depending maybe three and then just put some little oops where's my red it's gone some little red gems so that we've got like holly in the corner I wish these were a little bit darker green but these are just what I've got now I think two is going to look better because three is going to make it look a bit more like a flower so if I just put that and then just put three little holly berries there so that will make that into a big A4 card and I mean that's going to be great for like grandchildren um, or somebody special because it's a big card and I like big cards. Do you remember uh, when you were at school or college or whatever and uh, you used to get your first boyfriend and they used to buy those ginormous cards and it was like the bigger the card the better and they were like poster size A2 or A1 poster size cards and it didn't matter what the picture was and it didn't matter uh, what the verse said inside because they were usually really corny verses anyway but it was the fact that it said I love you on the front and it was a huge card oh dear maybe that was just me <laughs> I used to love getting those so that's that one um shall I do this on camera yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to use a little bit of just PVA glue to stick the gems on for now. And we'll see where we go from there. I'm just going to stick this on with... Uh... Oh, hang on. I think I've got some foam tape somewhere. Let me have a look. 
yeah, I'm going to stick this on with foam. Where's the cheap scissors? Right, okay, so I'm going to use foam double sided tape to put this on just to give it like a 3D element. Because to be honest, when it's an A4 size, I don't send them through the post. Um, a, it's too much to send them, and B, they tend to get squished. Even if you put on the front of it, do not bend. Uh, you tend to find that it does get bent. So I'm putting quite a bit on this. Uh, and I wouldn't use your best scissors when cutting uh, anything like foam tape because it is exceptionally sticky and you'll end up with really, really sticky scissors. You can use Google on them, but uh, it's easier if you don't actually have sticky scissors. <laughs> Oh, I'm putting too much on here, but never mind. You're getting the gist. I would never normally use this amount, but... Right, so let's see if we can get these off now. Okay, I'm hoping that this is still sticky, because, again, uh, it's a couple of years since I've actually done any serious card making with a lot of my card making tools. Uh, last year, it was just mainly diamond painted cards I sent out. And the year before, do you know, I can't even remember. I think it may have just been cards that I already had. Um, or cards that I just um, used to print out. Um, I used to like put, you know, like the grandkids, I'd put their head on, uh, I don't know, a, a body with a princess dress or something in it um, and just do it that way. So let's just line this up. Yeah, so it just gives it a little bit more depth. And then let's see if we can get this off here. Do you know what? I'm not even going to faff with that today. I'm just going to cut those off and let's put this sticky on here. Oh, look, that one's. Oh, no, it's. Oh, oh, where's that come from? I've got an extra gem there that it's attached itself to. Okay. I'm finding that these actually don't go very straight. So if you're somebody that likes really, really straight, possibly these ribbons aren't for you. Uh, I did try a couple of different colours. Um, I did try the silver and the gold that I bought recently, but I decided that I actually liked the red the best to go with the red gems that are already there to highlight that. Uh, I'm not wholly enamoured with the complete white background here, but I did think most of it's covered over and I am putting the gems on. I think I would have preferred... I don't know... I did toy with putting the silver, but that was just too much. So it's a case of playing around. Um, and the gold, sorry, the white did look the best. I even tried cream, but I shouldn't have taken the tape off this. <laughs> oh dear, I don't get myself into some messes. Right, let's just center that down as i say these lines never seem to go quite straight and we'll just cut from the back that way but i can keep these because put those on there for now because i can use these on something else and just cut that one okay so that's that it's already got a big merry christmas on it so it's not going to need any more merry christmases uh, you could put to the one I love, you could put the person's name on it, you know, you can do all sorts. I mean, that's the thing with card making. There isn't really any right or wrong. It's just whatever you fancy doing. And if you think it looks right, you do it. So let's just get these gems. i use this so I don't get glue all over my desk. This is, oh. <laughs> this is just one of those... Um, zig pens but uh, it's just like a glue pen and you just press the end and the glue comes out oh dear you could use glue dots or silicon glue i do usually use silicon glue and um, but i haven't got one open at the moment so i'm a little bit wary about using it because it will go off eventually if you don't use it all and i don't know whether i'm going to use it a lot at the moment uh, can you actually see that? No, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me do it again at the top. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, 
See, when you don't card make on video, nobody sees what you're messing about at and nobody sees if you make a mistake. There's only you. And you can hide it with something. You know, if you put a blob or something on your card, then you just hide it with um, something like a snowflake or... Um, well, if it's a birthday card, it's usually a butterfly. <laughs> the amount of mistakes I've covered with a butterfly. So that's two lots of little gems there. So let's get these now. These are just some packs of um, cheap self-adhesive gems that I got uh, a long time ago. And it's a case of getting them off with the adhesive still on the back. So I'm just using my nails just to put these on. As you can see, I've used a lot of pink. Just, I suppose I could use my tweezers, but come on, get round there, you. Oh, that's it. Get round there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I should have used my tweezers. So that's just like a little holly berry in the corner there, just to match the holly that's on the acetate. So let's just go around to the back there and put some more on. Oops. Just pop those there and that one there. It's just to show you really that just because your diamond painting is one thing doesn't mean it has to stay like that. So I think that's really pretty. And if I just put a with love or, you know, just add a, another couple of little bits maybe. Um, now I was thinking about these corners, but I don't think I need that. So yeah, I think that's pretty good to go. And then I just need to put my verse on the inside there and then we're okay so that's that one and then i've got another one to do facing the other way i mean you could actually um have stuck these two together back to back um and hung them as a decoration but i like them uh, like this so that's just another idea for another christmas card and then finally i thought i'd just have a quick play this was another sewing idea um, this was one of those little bags, you know, where you got it and you thought, how on earth do I do this? And what you had to do was fold in half there and then fold it back that way. Oh, I can hear my washing machine going. That's good. Millie came in this morning, absolutely smelling of stale water. Um, there's a big puddle on the field where she, she goes for a walk. Oh, and it absolutely stank when she came in. So I've had to wash all her bedding where she decided to rub herself when she <laughs> came in and it's in the washer. Sorry, you didn't need to know that, did you? But anyway, so yes, yeah, so that's how um, you would have stood your bag. And then you had to then sew, cut out your handles, sew them onto there so that you had like a little bag. But I thought, well, the bag's neither use nor ornament, really. Um, it's very flimsy. Um, I suppose you could use it as a bag. But I decided I'm going to make them into Christmas cards. So, let's just pop those out of the way. And I've got some little, um, these are A5 cards, uh, which is like half of an A4. And they're already scalloped, so that they're quite fancy. Now let me find where I've put my guillotine. Okay, so... Sometimes these guillotine and sometimes they don't. So, you know, just uh, give it a go and see where you are. It depends how taut it is. Right, and I'm just going to slice these edges because whatever I've done, I have nowhere near done these straight. Goodness me. I must have been on the hard stuff when I uh, cut these out. <laughs> okay, so gosh, look how bad that is. Okay, um, wow, well, Liz, what have you done? Let's just cut down that line there and see if we can get that straightish there. Just cut a little bit more. Okay, if I can get one edge straight, then I can get the other straight. <laughs> Oh, 
that's better. Okay, so that's got those a little bit better. Gosh, I must have been in a really strange place when I did that. And then that, you see, will just go nicely on the front of that card. And it will just stand up as a happy Christmas. And I think actually that is nicer than if you gave it to somebody as a bag. You can cover these over. I'll probably put some gems or something on there. Um, I wouldn't use double-sided tape because I think when it gets warm, this is going to soften the tape or dry the tape out and it will drop off. So I would be inclined to use... Um, PVA glue may hold it, your foam pads will definitely hold it, or I would uh, use silicone glue, uh, like a craft silicone glue, something like that, just to hold that in place. But yeah, I think that's really, really pretty. Yeah, you could even put uh, a piece of acetate, if you've got something like the snowflake acetate or something like that, fold that over the top as well, so that it really looks like it's snowing. Let me see if I can find a piece. Okay, yeah, you could even put, uh, that would be quite nice, just fold over your acetate and put that over the front and it just gives it another dimension. Sorry, you're getting a bit of glare there, aren't you? That's better. Just a little bit more dimension and some more snowflakes. And it will also protect, you know, if you're giving it to a child, it will protect the uh, beads underneath, the drills underneath. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I will get my scoreboard out and get that folded over there and have acetate on the front and it just gives it that extra little bit that little bit more dimension okay so and i will then just make that one i'll do that one the same do you know that it's got to be the least straight edge <laughs> what was i thinking when i was cutting these flipping hecklers wow I wish I could remember if I'd been drinking. I don't usually drink because I always have to drive. But gosh, I mean, that is just, uh, yeah, could practically go around a corner with that one. <laughs> anyway, OK, so that's three cards that uh, I've made using stickers and various other projects. And then my four cards from Plain Jane have the pop-ups in the middle and then two cards that were the bigger cards so i hope you've enjoyed seeing these um, and had a little bit of fun watching me play about uh, if you have a thumbs up would be much appreciated that's the little bell that's the little uh, notification thumbs up just down there and if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll answer them as best I can. And if you want to see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button in the corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.